This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the group 16 hydrides. The group 16 hydrides are composed of group 16 elements bonded to two hydrogen atoms. So here we can see the Lewis structures of the group 16 hydrides. From left to right, we have H2O, H2S, H2SE, and H2TE. As we can see, each molecule is composed of a group 16 atom bonded to two hydrogen atoms. On each group 16 atom, we also have two lone pairs of electrons. So in this video, we'll look at the structure and properties of these molecules in more detail. So we'll start by looking at the electron domain and molecular geometry. If we start with the electron domain geometry, we can see that for each molecule, it's tetrahedral. The molecular geometry is also the same for each molecule, which is bent or V-shaped. Next we have the bond angle, starting with water which has a bond angle of 104.5 degrees. So as we go down the group, we can see that the bond angle decreases. H2S has a bond angle of approximately 92.1 degrees. H2SE is 91 degrees and H2TE is 90 degrees. The group 16 hydrides, except for H2TE, contain polar bonds between the hydrogen atoms and the group 16 atom. So in this table, we can see the difference in electronegativity between the hydrogen atom and the group 16 atom. For H2O, the difference is 1.2 units. For H2S and H2SE, the difference is 0.4 units. And for H2TE, the difference is 0.1 units. In terms of the polarity of the bond, the O to H bond can be considered a polar bond. The H to S and the H to SE bonds can be considered to be weakly polar bonds. And the H to TE bond can be considered to be a very weakly polar bond. This is because of the very small difference in electronegativity. So next, we'll consider the polarity of the molecules. The first point to note is that all of the group 16 hydrides are polar molecules. To determine if a molecule is polar or non-polar, there are two factors that need to be considered. The first is the presence of polar bonds, and the second is the molecular geometry. So in terms of molecular polarity, H2O is the most polar and H2TE is the least polar. So to end the video, we'll look at the boiling points of the group 16 hydrides. Starting with H2O, which has a boiling point of 100 degrees C. We then see a big decrease in boiling point to H2S. The boiling point then increases to H2SE and H2TE. So the reason for the high boiling point of water is that it has hydrogen bonding between its molecules. We then see the boiling point increase from H2S to H2TE. This is because of increasing molar mass and stronger London dispersion forces. So of the three remaining group 16 hydrides, H2TE has the highest boiling point. So despite being the least polar molecule, it has a higher boiling point than the other two. The reason for this is its high molar mass, which results in stronger London dispersion forces between its molecules. So that's all from this video. If you found this video useful, check out my other videos at www.msjchem.com.